What's up guys, Sal here. So over recent years, phone makers have channeled their creative energy into improving cameras and accommodating more cameras on smartphones. The evident result is the phenomenal increase in competition between brands to offer more cameras for fewer bucks. Innovation has been the key to surviving in this competitive environment and one camera technology that has been the epitome of innovation is periscope zoom cameras. Smartphones with periscope lens cameras have been around for a few years. Oppo was the first company to show a working prototype phone with a such camera, giving it 5 times lossless zoom. Later on, other smartphone makers, including Huawei, launched phones with similar camera technology. Samsung also joined the fray last year with the Galaxy S20 Ultra. While Apple's iPhone 12 range has excellent cameras, but one area where they lag behind the competition is in their zoom capabilities, with even the iPhone 12 Pro Max only offering 2.5x optical zoom. And if you're hoping that this year's iPhone models would finally have periscope zoom cameras, then you would be disappointed because not only this year's iPhones won't feature periscope zoom cameras, but next year's iPhones will not either. This means Apple will hop on the zoom trend in 2023. But Sony is gonna do what Apple done and will not do for at least two years, and that's providing this cool zoom camera feature for their customers. Sony confirmed that it will be holding a launch event on April 14th where the company will be announcing the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III flagship as well as a couple of other phones on the set date. An early look at the handset shows that the phone will have a periscope zoom camera, although it's not clear whether it's gonna be 5x or 10x like the one on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. As we know, a periscope lens allows for a greater optical zoom range than a conventional telephoto camera without taking up more space. That means Sony could increase the zoom range without making the phone or camera bump any thicker and that's what we see on the Xperia 1 Mark III. The camera bump isn't as significant as other camera phones out there. Based on reports, Sony has equipped this handset with a Snapdragon 888 chipset along with a 120Hz high refresh rate display and a 4K resolution. Sony is the only company that offers a combination of 4K and 120Hz refresh rate. There should be at least 12 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, which should make the Xperia 1 Mark III very competitive with other flagships released this year. But the problem is, Sony is still sticking to the same dated 2017 design. This could have looked amazing back in the day, but now, considering literally every Android phone maker has switched to a punchable camera system with an edge to edge display, Sony smartphones are now started looking stale. It feels like phone designers at Sony had turned on cruise control and called it a day or a year in this case. What makes it worse is that even Google, who was known for making the worst looking phones, has now started to make some good ones. Yes, these small bezels offer some functions such as it houses stereo speakers, but companies like Samsung are doing stereo speakers while providing an edge to edge look, so Sony doesn't have any excuse here. But keeping the bezels aside, I think the Xperia 1 Mark III is an amazing handset that goes toe to toe with the best Android phones out there. I just hope they price it reasonably and market it really well. Sony is among the only few OG smartphone makers left. Apart from providing Samsung and Google Pixel some competition, it would extremely be disappointing a brand like Sony fades into obscurity like LG. Of course, do let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.